Hey guys, this is Joe from Prime Cuts Blog. You may remember me, it's been a while since we shot a video, but we're done uh, dealing with Justin's wedding and getting through the busiest part of the summer for the restaurant. So we're gonna get back on track, get you some videos, and uh, hopefully teach you some more about food. Today, I wanna talk about a subject that's very near and dear to my heart in that I have a Spanish themed restaurant, which is rice. Very important staple of any basically any cuisine, uh, especially important to me. Um, and I'm going to give you guys a simple chef's trick for how to make the fluffiest, perfect rice that you'll ever have. Um, and it's a real easy one. This is going to be a quick shoot, but you're going to thank me for this one. So, which we'll show you over here. I got my normal rice prepped today, and I split the batch in half. And everything, the seasoning is in here. I use simply butter, salt, pepper, and scallion. This is a jasmine rice that has kind of a low water to rice ratio. So it is a little firmer for that reason, but it's going to allow us to get good separate grains. Um, and the trick is as simple as this. It's the tool in which you use to mix your rice. Proper tool, grill fork, carving fork, whatever you want to call it. It's best used in my kitchen for mixing rice. That's really the only purpose it serves. I don't pierce my meat and I don't do anything but make rice with this. Wrong tool, spoon. Probably what you have in your house. Um, and what's gonna happen, I'll switch it up here real quick. When you mix your rice with the spoon, you can kinda see digging through it, I'm just mashing chunks together. I'm not getting a good even mix. I mean, granted, I could very well finish this job with this tool, but you can see it's not incorporating the seasonings very well and what it is doing is mashing the kernels together, breaking them, and not making a very even separated rice. Just big chunks and we could keep going all day, but over mixing in almost any application, not good. So, moving back to our fork, it's going to basically just slide through the rice. Just, this is perfect. It's basically breaking the kernels apart while we're incorporating the butter, melting it in there, and it's getting a nice even spread to everything. Butter's gonna melt and coat evenly this way. And if you can see, I did about the same amount of work, probably less, and we've got a nice sprinkled rice. I'll give this a little bit more. Basically, I just mix until the butter's melted. Good to go. So, there you go. There's your rice trick for the day. And as I said, you'll thank me for it. The next time you make it, do it this way.